Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and it's time for Simplex 4010 Test 21. Smart Stink and Explosion Proof Pulls. First off, it is now holiday time down here. We got wreaths and lights and Christmas trees and fires and all poinsettias and all kinds of stuff. So, yay, it is festive and whatnot. So, we're going to start. We have a new device up here, which is going to be up permanently. It is a STI S. 2000 series fire pull station with the cover you saw my video the review on it so that is now going to be a permanent edition over here at point 12 of my simplex panel so we will be testing that today come over here is my killark xl xal-53 dual action lift and pull pull station I was finally able to get one of these for a good price, and I had to make my own mounting plate to get this to actually fit on a single gang box, because it comes on a different box, a different surface mount back box with the four big screws on it, but I was able to create a conversion plate for that. Going up here is my Simplex 4906-9130 ceiling mount horn strobe, but it is actually, well, it's a ceiling mount, but I have it on wall setting because why not? And it's not a mechanical horn like the other versions are. It is a smart sync horn with multi-candela and it is set at 30 candela. Over here is a Simplex 4906-9127 True Alert set at 30 candela is another multi-candela device. Coming down here under the stopper with the horn off today is the Advanced 56000 5000 ADV dual action pull station and then if we come all the way around here is my Siemens MSM dash INST key activated pull station same pull station on theater over there same smoke heat same strobe and smoke same key switch and then down here is another uh, 4099 9006 dual action pull station with the LED. I got one in here and this is set at point 13. So we're going to be testing a lot of poles and stuff today. So I think we might as well start with the explosion proof pole station. So to operate this pole station, you lift and then pull the ring down like this. We'll silence that and acknowledge everything. One thing I forgot to mention is over here at that frosted strobe is the Simplex 4904-9101 remote frosted strobe. And it flashes a little slower than the rest, but it's a nice looking strobe. I got two of these now. And if you think that this is like really cool, I got two of these up for sale on my eBay account. So go ahead and check it out. I've got a whole bunch of new devices and stuff up for the holiday season. So come on over and link is in the description of my videos and there is a hot link on my channel page. So to reset this pole station, you take the world's skinniest Allen wrench. I think it is, um, it's 0 0.05 of an inch. So we put it in and we turn this set screw up about a quarter of the way that we push the button in and slide the front plate back up and then tighten the screw back up. And then once we are done with that, oops, we then close the front cover. And we can then go ahead and reset the panel. These two horn strobes are in sync because they are smart sync devices, which means they only have two wires going into them and they can do audible silence with a frequency sent out by the panel. So we just wait for the panel to reset. There we go. Then we'll reset the door and we'll hit the stopper station. So let's do the stopper.
silence from the enunciator. While the panel is in alarm, we actually are going to come over here and pull the advanced pull station. Once again, the stopper horn should be off unless it jiggled itself back on. Oh my god. I turned it off. I didn't put the lock in. I was hoping I didn't need to. But we can push and push again. And we will silence and acknowledge everything. So we can go ahead and start resetting everything. First off, to reset the STI stop station, you take your SS102 key, if I can get it, and put it in, and turn. And if we come over here to reset, you take a CAT30 key, let me grab it on my key ring, do, 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 maybe, here it is. Take your cat 30 key. Maybe if I can hold the stopper away. This is probably the most annoying thing about the stopper. Oh my god. Ah! God, I really don't fully know why I bought it. So we'll reset it this way. There we go. Okay, it reset. Nope, drop my keys. Just, we're not gonna touch you anymore. We are just not going to touch that pull station until the next video because everything. So, now we can go ahead and reset the panel and excuse my issues with the stop. Let's go ahead and let that reset. Oh God, I, this re, actuated itself. That's hilarious. Did it? Yeah. Maybe it didn't. Huh. It just looks kind of pushed in. All right. Still learning. Still learning that one. Just got it a few days ago. So what we can do is reprep the door and they'll come and pull the new pull station in here. Push and pull. Go ahead and reset it. And we will silence it and I got it labeled as storage pull. So, this concludes Simplex 4010 Test 21, Smart Sync and Explosion Proof Pull Station. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.